I kind of wish I could go back to university and do it again because it sounds so interesting. Kia ora, my name is Georgia A. Taylor. I am an ex-student of the University of Auckland and I studied a Bachelor of Arts with the Communication Specialisation. Today I'm here talking with Bing and Luke about the new Bachelor of Communication. Luke, Bing, I'm so excited to have you here today. Luke, you were one of my lecturers when I studied here. We studied so many cool things like artificial intelligence, where communication is going and what is the impact on people. And so I'm so excited to hear about your new Bachelor of Communications. Thanks, Georgia Ray. It's good to see you again. And um, yeah, I'm the program director for the new Bachelor of uh, Communication degree. And as you said, some of my own interests are particularly in the future of communication technology, emerging and future communication technologies. Hi, thank you, Georgia. Um, I'm Bing, uh, a lecturer in communication at the University of Auckland. I study Chinese digital communication and culture. Currently, I'm working as a sustainability consultant uh, in Auckland, which probably isn't the most direct path of a communication major. But through my work helping corporates and councils with their sustainability initiatives, I've realized that communication is vitally important. It underpins everything. And I'd be so interested to hear from you guys what you think the benefit of a Bachelor of Communication really is. Well, I think as you, as you rightly say, communication is fundamental across so many different sectors and so many different career paths, and it's absolutely fundamental to the modern world. Um, so there are obviously career pathways uh, where graduates might go into roles that are traditionally thought of as communication roles, but there are a whole host of other areas of work for which communication, communication skills, you know, learning how to be persuasive as a communicator, but also understanding ethics and culture and those sorts of issues. For us, that was really important to think in those broad terms. Yeah, and also thinking about, um, you know, nowadays we live in the information age, you know, everything is about communication, right? Whether you post things on Instagram or Twitter, right? You're communicating all the time with all sorts of people, right? So you're talking about you working in the, you know, corp corporate or, or non-profit or private kind of sectors, right? Where you, you, you know, you have to think about deliberately how you design your message, how to, you know, communicate effectively and appropriately in you know, in a number of kind of contexts and you definitely have to speak differently, right, to different kinds of people. Um, but also, but but I think another very important point of this is that we're communicating all the time, but we're not necessarily actually thinking about our communication, right? So I think, you know, for the, the, the courses and things that we, we want to uh, help our students to, to really to be more conscious about the way that we communicate so that we can actually be more skillful, right? in the ways that we design our message, in the ways that, you know, we, 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 we embrace difference, right, through our communication, in the ways that we mobilize people, we, we make a change, make a difference in society through the way that we communicate. So I think that's something that we, we're really passionate about, right? We want our students to, to really have this opportunity to reflect on their communication, to think deliberately about how they can communicate better so that they can make a change, yeah. I think you're so right in the deliberate communication and the need to really build that skill. I mean, that was something that I took from the communication specialization. And I'd be interested to hear what else is going to be, well, what more is going to be in this Bachelor of Communication? Well, we're really excited because we've got three new majors within the Bachelor of Communication degree. There's a, there's a, uh, a major which focuses on leadership. Um, Leadership skills, of course, communication is fundamental to, to leadership skills. Mm -hmm. um, and we're interested in leadership, not only within corporate contexts, you know, the business world, but also mm -hmm. in not-for-profits, in the community sector and so forth. Um, we, have, uh, we have a major in communication and technology because, of course, mm -hmm. one of the big driving forces of changes in the way people communicate today is technology and also how we communicate using technologies and how we communicate using data and, and so forth. Um, and, and the third one is communication and social change, uh, which covers a, a wide range of areas such as the environment, public health, um, and, and 
really to go back to something Bing just said, I think you know that major is is going to appeal especially to students that are interested in developing their communication skills in order to to help make a contribution to to, to improving our society. What I love about this uh, Bachelor of Communication, it sounds like you're arming students with just a toolbox full of amazing resources and ways of thinking and they can go out into whatever job they get, whether it's in sustainability or whether it's in more traditional communication roles and use those to really make a difference. I kind of wish I could go back to university and do it again because <laughs> it sounds so interesting. Well, I think, you know, I think we all know that that um, careers and industries are changing and they're going to change in ways that we cannot possibly mm. foresee. And so um, having practical skills that are applicable to a whole host of different contexts and giving students hopefully the kind of the confidence also to to explore new technologies, new ways of communicating, so that so that they can contribute um, to the world in, in ways in ways we we can barely anticipate now. And the future of work is changing so rapidly. Jobs that are don't exist now will exist in five years. Um, and just to be armed with tools to really make a difference, I think, is one of the most impactful things any kind of degree could could give students. So that's really exciting. It's not, um, you know, so straightforward that, OK, you take you do communication, then you get this job. And rather, I want, you know, students to kind of really ex have opportunity to explore their potentials by by learning those skills and then they kind of make use of them to find a career, you know, for themselves. And because I, I personally believe uh, if you have a major in communication you want to do marketing you want to you want to work in a non-profit organization right um, you want to work on public health campaigns there's all sorts of things that you can do you can really use you know your communication right <laughs> kind of you know degree to, 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 to open the kind of a career you know open, really open up a career path for you one of the number one skills needed in sustainability it's coming out is communication because the myriad of problems that a sustainability professional, for example, uh, is going to face, it's changing all the time and it's also in the unknown. <laughs> so just having that base of communication to be able to interact with executive level on a corporate, right down to communities, um, it's really important. Um, and so a student is sitting at home, they don't know exactly what they want to choose at the University of Auckland. They're interested in the Bachelor of Communication. What would you say to them um, about taking that step and that plunge? What does the communication really offer for them? I think what's sort of valuable about the, the degree and the way that it's been designed is, is the balance between practical skills, um, working on, on solutions, creative um, thinking, etc., alongside the academic study skills that you, you need to really understand problems in, in a kind of methodical and in-depth way. So we've really tried to get a balance between those, those two. And so I think it will, it will really appeal to students who are interested in that kind of mix of different kinds of learning uh, during their degree. Thank you so much for having a conversation with me today about the Bachelor of Communication. As I said, I would love to be coming back to study it. It sounds like an absolutely fascinating bachelor um, that offers so much to students. So I'm really excited to hear how it goes and see how it goes. Luke, any final thoughts on the Bachelor of Communication you'd like to share? Well, well do please come back and visit us. That would be great. But no, just to say that we are extremely excited about the new program and um, we, we hope that students will be at least half as excited as we are about it. Yeah, absolutely. We're very, very excited and we um, welcome other new students. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.